G'day subscribers. So, this video is going to be titled something pretty catchy like MPPT for bugger all or F all or something. This, I found it at the scrapyard and I got it for 20 bucks. This is a Morningstar, TriStar MPPT. So it's a TS MPPT 45. This is actually a 45 amp charge control. So, first thing we're gonna have to do is prune some of this wiring off it. So this cool blade fuse fuse box, which will take off and keep for a different reason. We use that probably to upgrade the fuse box in the truck, I reckon. So we'll just liberate that out of the equation. That's uh, an earth eyelet that can stay on there. That's another earth eyelet. So what I'm thinking may have been done, we'll be able to verify in a minute. They've put in multiple inputs, multiple outputs kind of thing. It's got a temperature probe. That's really cool. And then we've got all these old MC4 connectors. So we're gonna get rid of all of them. Because they're all quiet rubbish. Goodbye MC4s, okay. So now we've got that left. Let's open it up and have a look. Let me give you a bit of a look. It's got a little bit of what I thought was corrosion. I'll tell you what it is in a minute. It's actually not. Let's whip it over to make sure it's all good inside. See, one of the things that I was really worried about when I picked it up, um, was the bits of rust and bits and pieces. And then the guy at the scrapyard goes, after I give him the $20 for it, he goes, oh no, it was working. This is installed in like a portable site shed thing with three batteries that my mate Clinton's just put in his camper van. This was still a going system when it rolled in the scrapyard. He only took it inside to get the aluminium and copper off it. So, if we go and look in here, it's all but clean. All the dip switches are there, temp sensor wires there, so it'll cut out if you get it too hot. As our uh, negatives are all bridged together, as our solar incomes, as our charge out goes. How bloody simple is that? I'm going to take you off the stand. We can have a better look inside. It's got a RS port for communications. It's got a remote meter port, which I'll have to get one off Matt from Solar Taz because I really I like the I like the analytics. That's why I like this. And we can we can flick through and see what it's doing. You can actually hear it pulsing because we've got 35 volts getting fended off. The battery banks are essentially full. So it tells you the minimum wire sizes, etc. Long story short, it looks rough, but there's nothing wrong with it. Maximum power point tracking, 45 amp MPPT. So this big old beast. Some more specs on this side. Maximum input voltage, 150 volts DC. Let's see. Nominal voltage is 12, 24, 48 volt DC. So it self picks the battery bank. Should I go 48 volt? I can make that 48 volt at 240 ampere. I need an inverter then. But that's the thing. This opens up huge possibilities and it cost me 20 bucks. So I'm going to give this a hit with some WD 40 and the, uh, and a 
yeah, WD-40 soaked rag and cleaned it up. But there you go, that's what they've done. Just absolutely unbelievable. Nothing much at all wrong with it. Just looked rough. There's a switch there. Push to reset, hold to equalize, start and stop. Okay, I'll probably download a manual so I uh, know what's actually going on with the thing. Let's put them little machine screws back in because they're not a normal one that I'd have laying around. I don't want to lose them. But there you go. Here I was thinking it has been in the ocean or close enough to it. No. There was somewhere where birds could sit up on top of it. A bird crap on the top of it, that's all it is. The batteries that my mate got for his uh, camper, absolute covered in bird crap. So, that's all that's wrong with it. As you can see, it's vented to let the heat out of the inside. It's well and truly heat sunk. We're about to upgrade to a 45 amp charge controller. Which is really good because these are 30s. The battery is well, less than full now. Um, we're not getting bugger or solar at all, actually. Um, what's going under a cloud? That'll sit on 30 amps pinned and stay there sometimes. So that's um, definitely a limiting factor. And it's PWM, not MPPT. So we will be able to upgrade to MPPT. At the same time as um, upping it by 15 amps. It does mean we could have probably put another panel on this side of the shed. That's alright, because we'll, we'll want to use this for something else in here. We'll make a few little standalone systems up. Since I've got all of these batteries, I've got the other, the other uh, 12 of those is outside connected as well. Doing a bit of a... Um, gentle cycle up and down they're getting charged by the solar and getting used by the system in here but they're yeah there's like over 2000 amp hour in here now um yeah 2000 amp hour and 1.4 kilowatt of solar something like that something in that order so we will uh, be able to extract a lot more of that soon i'll get hold of a um monitor for this from Matt from Solar Tasmania, and uh, we'll be good to go. Thanks heaps for watching. We'll give this a bit of a rest, restore and uh, mount it up in the next video. Thanks heaps, guys. I'll catch you on the next vid. Cheers.